Greetings, families. Welcome back once again. I hope you are well. I hope your day is good. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Made in Burkina Faso. Yes, the Science and Technology Fair. I think I'm right. I might be wrong, but there is a fair going on. The people, the youngsters, the old, they are all showcasing what they are capable of producing in Burkina Faso. Technology, what our president has called. Families, please listen and watch. I'll be back. Credit to CRAC, if I pronounce it well, I'll put the name there. Thank you so much for sharing this with us in advance. I'll be back. At the site of the Ouagadougou International Handicrafts Fair, CIO, science and innovation are in the spotlight. Burkina Faso is buzzing with the National Forum on Scientific Research and Technological Innovation FIRST 2025, an event where researchers, inventors, students, and entrepreneurs share a common goal, to build an Africa that creates, innovates, and moves forward. Thanks to its own solutions. In the aisles of the exhibition, the booths compete in ingenuity, innovations in the fields of agriculture, health, energy, and digital technology bear witness to Burkinabe creative genius, scientific excitement, and national pride. Here we have roasting equipment. It's a roaster for shea nuts. Specifically, you can also roast peanuts, but this machine is dedicated to shea. And here, it is also fueled by the leftover shea churning pieces that are used for combustion. In this oven, there is a chamber at the bottom where you can burn those pieces. A primary air supply, then a secondary air supply to reach a temperature close to 600 degrees. But you will pass through the drum at less than 100 degrees to be able to roast these kernels here. This is the company beam. So we came to present a rural energy assistant that is here. It's a solar powered cultivator, which can be used for farming, powering your house, running anything electric, and for a variety of things you might use. And here we also have a dehuller over there. After finishing the cultivation, you can use it to shell corn. Here we have a mini mill that can be used to grind corn and so on, along with the accessories that are here. And here as well, we have an oil press that can press peanuts, sesame, and moringa seeds. And here as well, we have a mini machine that can be used to shell puton. You put the puton in and process the material. That's it, Ken. At this 15th edition, young talents are present. With handmade inventions, the fruit of their creativity and passion, they aim to support Burkinabe entrepreneurs with local and sustainable solutions. We have the protective grill, which is here. The protective grill makes a sound. It's an anti-intrusion grill against anything that comes into contact with the grill. So it emits a sound that helps you locate whatever it is. Now, the camera is there to monitor all of this. The camera is behind it, so it allows you to keep an eye on everything. So the person who is there and watching the camera knows that something is trying to enter their area. On top of that, we have the sensors. The flame sensors are there and their role is to detect flames. So when a flame is detected in the area, it will automatically trigger a call. When it makes a call, it's either to the owner of the field or to a firefighter to alert them so they can come to the rescue at the field. But before they arrive, there will inevitably be some damage. So to prevent damage, we have an automatic extinguishing system. The automatic extinguishing system is there to put out the fire while waiting for people to arrive on the scene. The fair seat is also a meeting space for researchers, businesses and decision makers. A platform where the future of Burkina Faso is being shaped through local science and innovation. Exchanges that nurture the hopes of a young generation ready to invent its own future. I discovered many interesting and remarkable things, and I am truly amazed and deeply impressed by what I saw. You can really feel that at the national level, our researchers are making strong efforts to produce exactly what we need. I saw some truly beautiful creations. I saw a cultivation system. 
an irrigation system that can be used simultaneously with fish farming, and the water where the fish swim could be used at the same time to irrigate the crops. And we see that it's young people, young people aged 18 to 22 who created this. And that really impressed me. Discovery, Inspiration and National Pride, FERSL 2025 presents itself as a showcase of Burkina Bay know-how, where science becomes the driving force for sustainable and homegrown development. Thank you so much, families, for listening and watching. I was amazed. I have seen a, a Burkina Bay produce washing machine that you can ride on a bicycle that is powered by solar. So I'm not surprised at all. There's more talented people. It's just they need lack of motivation. The motivation is not there. I remember a guy produced a generator in Nigeria that uses water. Whether it's true or not, people are saying it's not true. But this guy showcased how that generator can work. I don't know where he is now. There are more talent in Africa. They just need leaders that believe in them, support them, encourage them, motivate them, help them so they can produce more and help develop these countries. Many a times you will work and work and nothing. There was Ghana, COVID time, there were some a university that produced a lot of oxygen uh, that will cost like nothing. They just need the government to help them produce more and also patronize it. They, according to them, no one came. They introduced it, they showcased it, everything. The health minister said, okay, I've seen it, I'm going, I'll be back. Nothing has been done. So all the time, the hours they put into producing that machine, has become useless. Hopefully, this new government will look into it and do something. It's about time we support our own a bit. Let's do that because, yeah, a lot left Africa to go and produce this. Our mobile phone, if you listen to the history, who bring it? The fibroatic, the Ghanaian man that may so rest in peace is gone now. By the time we went back to help Ghana, it was too late for Ghanaians to achieve something. Also, they delay him a lot when they want to bring a train. They want to build a train, I mean, different train altogether in Ghana. They rather went to Poland or something, a one coach, one coach train. They stand there and take a video of it. When the man who brought this technology, the mobile phone, we are all using now with his help. It is working and it is helping a lot of us today, speaking and talking and listening and sharing information. That man went through a lot till he's gone. There are a lot of talented people in Africa. They just need leaders like Captain Ibrahim Traoré, and now they have one. So I wish them all the best. I wish all the producers all the best. I'm sure they will go ahead and, and be great in future. Their time will not be wasted like the rest. They should come forward because our president wants to see them, want to know what they can do to help build their country. Anyway, I'll leave you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And credit to CRAC. -R I think I got it right. I'll put it there. Thank you. Thank you, my sister or my brother, for sharing this with us to know what is going on in this fair. I wish them all the best. Thank you so much, families. My VIPs, my kids and queens, thank you. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.